sausage going over here. Shallots and garlic in here. I'm gonna add a couple whole cloves too, actually. I know we got just a gang of barely chopped basnigol. Basnigol. Yeah, basnigol. Sandanigol. Sandanigol, the basnigol. So we'll get those seared off and then we'll cut them up and then we'll sear off the beef. Cut that up and then once this is going, get the crushed tomatoes in there. My grandfather, when he had the time, would not do canned. When he did do canned, it was always a higher brand and it was always crushed tomatoes, no sauce. Yes. Don't eat anybody else's sauce. Eat your crushed tomatoes, peeled tomatoes, stewed whole tomatoes, as long as the less processing the better. like going down the rabbit hole. Into the mix. That was a good shot. Crushed tomatoes. And do it again. Mm -hmm. Then. Oh, I do this with my with my tomato sauce too, or my tomatoes too. Whereas my dad would be like, whatever, it's half empty, throw it away. <laughs> so this is just pork shoulder that hey, got uh, chunked out. What are you cooking it in right now? This is the grease that is left over from the spicy Italian sauce. Mm. So we got that, and we're going to add some dry herbs and some garlic salt. But not any crazy amount because the best thing the flavors the sauce is like all the natural combination of flavors, right? So you don't need to add too much of anything. I just add a little garlic, shallots, basnigol, then some dry herbs, and then the meats themselves are gonna bring a ton of flavor. That's why also I'm going in this order specifically, sausage in the pan first, then the pork with all that fat and skin, then the ground beef goes in there, and then the couple of pieces of sirloin that I have aren't even gonna go in the pan, they're gonna go right into the sauce. That's why I like uh, the the sausage first because it's got the most seasoning in it. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And it's got all of that. Ton of flavor, ton of salt in it already. All that fat. And then again with this pork, similar kind of thing. We're just gonna let that sit and do its thing and become what it's what's destined to be. We have the first floaters, yeah. the first swimmers heading into the sea. Italian sauce each. Heading into the sea. Okay. Well, last time, look at the inside of that sausage. All that oil. Actually, focus. All that oil and goodness of that. This is ground, lean ground beef. Into all the fat and oil from the pork and the sausage, all the rendered piggy skin, yeah. and the casings of the sausage, and all the oils and spices there in that spicy Italian water. And uh, that'll render for a little bit there, brown up nicely. And then that'll go into the sauce as well. And then lastly, I will put a couple of little sirloin, uh, thinly sliced sirloin steaks into their hole. 
and those will sit, and that's kind of going to be our marker to show us when we're done with the sauce, when those whole sirloins have turned into shreds. That's going to be our, and that'll be like hours down the line. Maybe we'll have to do something, uh, go walk down to El or something to go surprise uh, some people. Yeah, yeah. Surprise the Morrison or the Marlin. Ooh, that's yummy. <laughs> Ooh. Round bits on the bottom of the pan going in. That's flavor country. Okay, so this is like actually the slots are too big. Need like a sieve. Yeah. Big yeah. And again, you don't need to anything. This is the flavor is going to come from all the things in there. So this guy right here, when this turns into shred, that's going to be when this is mostly done. So I want to set them in there good. Get them covered and push them down with a spoon. It's a little trick my grandfather taught me back in the day when he would make sauce like this all the time. Put whole cuts of meat in and they'll break down really nicely. And uh, I'm gonna go in there with all that nice pork we got in there and sauce each. Take another spoon, push these guys down there. All right, once this comes up to like a real hard boil, Then I'll uh, lower it all the way down, and then we will probably go have some beverages. I want to get a piece of meat and a piece of bread. Oh, yeah. Just so sit get a gravel bowl. You're shooting. Oh, that's true. <laughs> ladle, ladle, ladle. What does the plate see? Yum. No. Wow. Not great for you, all that. A little bit good, not great. And then my dog, he's he's still around, not like the old man, but the dog, when I pull the meat out of the bread, I was like, here you go, little burger. Enjoy. Mr. Duke. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
saw some old friends. Good food. Great old. Cool 105. Yep. Oh, that pork's gonna be good already. I already know. Oh. Mm. So you're gonna take the bread out, guy? I, yeah, I dig a little bit out. I, I like Just because the old man kind of taught me that, I guess. I noticed that. Like, if somebody taught you, like, that's the way it is, mm -hmm. you take it out. But yeah. if nobody ever said anything, or then, yeah, it's, it's, it's like just what you grow with. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite though. Like, I love pasta, but it's like something about sauce with bread. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the best. It's my favorite. There have been times at my grandma's house where, like, by the time it was dinner time, I wasn't even hungry anymore because mm -hmm. I fucked up a whole loaf of bread in the sauce throughout the day. Yeah. Mm. That's so fucking good. Holy shit. You know what I, we were talking earlier and I was like, I don't think I've seen people like try to co-op Italian stuff. I have. Mm. Spaghetti sauce. There's so many like white people versions that are like the Jamie Oliver doing the, the rice thing. Yes. There's so many people trying to do that with spaghetti sauce. I wonder, and I'm just like, fuck you, dude. One of those blows me away when people pour a bunch of sugar in Dude, it's like, uh, Or it's like, man, tomatoes got enough like natural sugar. You don't need to like. Dude, I did too thick of a roux. I threw that shit away. Well, after I mixed it in. Mm -hmm. Come on, I'm like, why'd you do that? I'm like, it tasted like I poured sugar in there. And she's like, and I was like, no. 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 Why? This cannot stand. Oh. Awesome. That was the other thing that grandma taught me. She let me like totally mess up. She's like, you throw it away and start over. And I was like, okay. It's real. That's a real deal. Like chef school shit. A lot of people give credit to the French for like their school and shit. Mm -hmm. I feel like Italians are better teachers. Well, the lineage goes because of that. What you said, like that's that's old school, like. Mm -hmm teach you how to cook. It was bad, throw it away. But the lineage goes like this, right? The first people to have like culinary and so treated mm -hmm. like an art form. Okay. And in the old days, if you were like a gangster Roman, you had a Greek chef, right? Time goes on, time goes on. The Italians learn from the Greek, mm -hmm. learn a lot from the Greek. And if you become a Frenchman who's a great, you know, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. You had an Italian chef. If you were hot chill in France. Mm -hmm. And the Italians that came over to France taught the French. Then later in England, if you were a badass, you had a French chef. And that mm -hmm. was the lineage like the hot. of the Western school of culinary art. Like so starting in Greece, going to Italy, then going to France is the development. And if you look at those three cultures, I mean there's like a real a real through line. You know? mm -hmm. The way they use so much fresh herbs, fats, stuff like that. I don't think English cooking is as good as you would have too. No, it didn't have the same effect because I think by the time the French chefs were in England, mm -hmm. they were, it, it was enough in the future where it was no longer a thing that was necessary for them. Because by then you had great Indian chefs in England mm -hmm. and great Asian, you know, chefs of all kinds. Well, all the great English chefs went and trained in France. In France, yeah. the thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was young and stupid and socialist minded. I hated Gordon Ramsay. Really? Yeah, I was like, why the fuck would you talk to somebody like that? And then as I grew up, I was like, no, no. Sometimes you ain't got shit done in the kitchen. Yeah. And I actually, like, watched. He, like, doesn't do that to people. I thought he was doing that to everybody. No, he only does it. Like, even people that were doing a good job. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm like, oh, no, that guy is just fucking well, that's retarded. That's like, we talk a lot about, like, the kids of this era, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, a, a stern coach, you get some of that in your life. Yeah, you know I, know. I mean, like... Mm -hmm. You have a coach who's like, what the fuck are you doing? When you're a certain age, that feels devastating for a moment, mm -hmm. you know? And then, yeah. Oh, that kind of shock is so fucking good. It almost has like a chorizo quality to it. 
I need to get that instead of whatever the fuck I'm getting. Because when I put whatever the fuck I'm getting in mine, it turns to uh, the tech, the weird texture and loses the flavor instead mm -hmm. of sucking it in. Mm -hmm. It must just be the, the kind that I'm getting. The liver fillers are using in it, yeah. Good. And I usually tap Costco's horn but because it's Costco. Usually, that's good if you just sear it off. Mm. It's like good pizza topping, right. Italian sausage. This is fucking. Man, I don't shop it. <laughs> I don't shop there like all the time, and it makes me feel sad. And then I go there and I feel good again. Like right. Western beef. Western beef is a, is a jam. It's good, man. It is a jam and a half. Somebody like tried to tell me like they have like medium to low grade stuff, and I was like, you can fucking never talk to me. <laughs> It's one of those things where it's just like, well, what do you think that's high grade stuff? Is? Yeah. Well, like, the other thing too is like, Whole Foods you can go fuck your mother. That's the thing. Like, have you had meat from Whole Foods? It's all right. It's, no, it's not. It's all right. not all right. It's bad. The one in my area is the only one I can really say that I've utilized with any frequency, and it's all right. You know what I mean? There's but nothing best. special. The, the steaks from Publix are better. I would say Publix are better. Yeah. The steaks from any place are better. I would say as far as grocery stores go. Publix is, is top tier for regular grocery stores. But I, I go to, I'm so spoiled now, I go to butcher shops, man, I don't fuck around with any of that grocery no, store meat. I was saying, like, whatever the worst grocery store mm -hmm. that you can think of, they're like, their meat is shit. It's still, like, just meat. Right. You know? Right. The, the shit that they put out in, at uh, Whole, Foods. Whole Foods feels like you're eating an emaciated cow. That never had fat this on it. This cow was bummed out. Yeah, it never had fat on it in its entire life. Right. There's no marbling. And I'm like, she's like, I got ribeyes. I'm like, do you? I'm like, that shit looks like dry tip. Like, and they cut the fat top off. Like mm. pecan. It looks like pecan. Mm. Like, With no fat cow. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not. What? She's like, well, it says it's ribeye. And I'm like, yeah, they fucking lied to you. Well, it's like, wait, you're the butcher? Yeah. You can't tell me what cut that is. And then the kid. Looking? The, I, I went there because when I ate them, like I seared them correct. I, like they were medium rare, right? Mm -hmm. And like uh, it was still red on the inside, but it tasted like I had um, cooked it through. Yeah, like yeah, like I had over, mm -hmm. over, overcooked it, and it was like it was the texture that I was talking about my sausage gets when I put, mm -hmm. and I was like it was falling apart in a bad way. I was just like. What am I eating? And it would like disintegrate weird. And I'm like, was it grass fed? Maybe. If you're not used know. to grass fed, man, it doesn't have the same fat content in the meat, and it doesn't render the same so. way. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's got a different color of fat, like as well. Like, no, this had no fat on it. Yeah, that's, I that's was really confused. A ribeye with no fat's really confusing. Not a ribeye at that point. I was like, here's fucking meat. But yeah. I finished mine. She's the one that went there and bought it, and she had a bite and just went like this. Yeah. She's like, "I know you didn't cook that wrong." And I'm like, "Clearly," because whenever we get steak, she's like, "You cook them," because like I'll fuck it up. I'm like, "Okay." And when she gets the two dollar public steaks, whatever, as long as you cook them right, right. great. This cost her like twenty bucks a piece, and she got two. And They're expensive like, for sure, Whole Foods. And I was just like. You just need to get your money back. I don't Super know pricing. The only cool thing they have is like if you want to do a fermentation stuff, mm -hmm. there's tons of stuff there. Or if you want to mill your own flour, I've seen so that, yeah. much stuff for that. Yeah. yeah. But they, they, even their produce doesn't like wow me necessarily. No. Nothing wows me there mm -hmm. except for their like bulk grain section, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. They should just do that. I don't think they have any business doing pretty much anything else. Some pretty good pasta station. They're, like they're bakery. Pasta. Yeah, yeah, they're like buffet is mm -hmm. pretty cool. And uh, their vegan, cheese, their vegan bakery. They have a cheese cloud in is yeah. no joke. Just cheese cloud. Is it good? All right, man. It's just a room full of cheese. I mean, I okay. Mean, I mean, I can't, you can't fuck that up. You yeah. can't fuck up cheese. No. Because okay. if you make it any other way, it's not cheese. Right. You can't call it right. cheese. You're making. Just some a, dairy product. Well, they just have a guy in there who's like, you want some of those cheese to try? And you're just like, yeah. Why? Can you be my new friend? Like, yeah. you just keep cutting cheeses and I'll call you my best friend eventually. Right. Like, 
You keep cutting the cheese, and we're gonna be best friends. Yeah, and the fact that if you chuckle at that joke, this is happening yeah. faster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna eat much more because I'm gonna end up fucking getting that food combo we talked about. Yes. It's the, the combo of the meat and bread and how like velvety it is. I'm gonna take that last piece of bread and sop up the rest of my sauce. Go for it. I was gonna say, I don't have containers and stuff here, so I'm gonna send the, the, the whole pot home with you. Oh, for real? Yeah, what am I gonna do with it? Okay. You got the whole fam? Here, put the pot in the fridge. Yeah, take the whole pot to your house and then give back to me uh, with the cutting board next time you see me. Yes. Yeah.